Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to implement TLS for your flex gateway that is running as a Kubernetes ingress controller. So in our last video, we have set up NGINX ingress in the front of your flex gateway which is running as a Kubernetes ingress controller and now I need to enable the TLS for NGINX ingress load balancer. So in earlier video, we have seen lot of concept related to flex gateway. I have already published around 11 videos across the flex gateway so we have gone through what is the universal api management like how to set up flex gateway as a docker container in local mode and the connected mode then how to publish your uh, multiple apis on the flex gateway running as a docker container we have seen like how we can use the different port for each uh, for each api and when you are deploying or when you are publishing to the uh, flex gateway running as a docker container then we have set up the flex gateway uh, as a kubernetes ingress controller in the connected mode so we have used the mini cube uh, for setting up the flex gateway then we have published the multiple apis to your flex gateway that are running on a different different port then we have seen like how to edit uh, ingress service file to open the multi many ports then we have seen like how to set up uh, uh, multiple replicas how to enable the auto scaling so we have we have walked through a various concept then in last video we have seen how to set up nginx ingress load balancer to host the multiple APIs running under the different port in, in under into a single domain so we have set up the ingress uh, nginx ingress load balancer now we have to enable the https for that particular nginx ingress load balancer so before i move into actual demo part so let me show you like you know we have already i already have an api in my runtime manager so i think we have already set up this in our last video so let me do one thing so i have this particular urls let me try to browse all these urls so i will go to go to my mini cube i will just try to browse it i got an order response i will try to browse my employee api also Then finally, I also try to browse the health API. I'm waiting for the response. It's taking some time. And just to wait, I can wait for a minute. Now let me check if I got the response. Yeah, we got an employee response also now let me check for the third api which is my health api i should get the response for that also let's wait it's taking some time generally it doesn't take that much of the time due to some network connectivity issue it may take some time time like yeah i got a response for that also so now so basically we have seen like you know so we have already uh, seen like we are getting the response from you know uh, from uh, ingress load balancer or nginx ingress load balancer and i have this particular three api orders employee health api has been published to the flex gateway so now i need to enable the https so as you are aware like last time we have created that ingress.yaml file and that has been applied in the front of your nginx uh, ingress load balancer and under that i have set up some rule so i have a three apis employee api orders api and the health api so I mentioned like you know health API is running on 8083 orders API 8082 and like you know your employee API on 8081 if you want to add more and more API just change the port just change the path just define some rules and like so like in nginx ingress can route the request to the proper uh, proper backend services basically okay so just keep as it is right now so before like we move into like uh, actual demo so we require two things uh, for enabling the TLS or HTTPS, we require public certificate and the private key. This pub don't, don't don't go with the name. So basically, this is the private key, and this is the public certificate. Okay, and you can use the Open SSL utility to do that. So I have this particular Open SSL command. So you can make use of that uh, Open SSL command to generate the your public certificate and the private key. The other thing I have to create the secret. So basically you cannot directly store your certificates in the Kubernetes. So you need to use this uh, command kubectl minus n gateway. So n gateway is nothing. It's a namespace where your flex gateway is running. Create secret TLS. You give a secret name. This is very important. This will require then pass the key. So currently my key is located on this particular path. Right. Then you have to pass uh, where is your public key. Right. 
copy this command execute on your kubernetes i will copy i will just execute so it will give me like you know secret tls created right if you are not passing the a minus n gateway it will create your tls in the default namespace right let me show you q ctl okay get secrets okay so it will say no resource found right so let me execute this command again it will say no resource found in default namespace so i have to pass a namespace minus n gateway now you will see the tls server is created here right so this will store your public key and public certificate and your private key now i have to go to my ingress.yaml okay and you need to copy this particular code i will going to explain indentation is very very important so this tls will come in the same line as your rules under the spec then like host so so for which host you need to enable the https so this mulesoft demo afi.info so this is the host then secret name so what secret name we have given when we are creating the secrets we have given a tls server tls hyphen server so here it's server tls just change it tls server that's it save the file right that is the entry you need to do in your ingress.yaml file where you are defining you know uh, rules and everything in next video i will going to show how we enable the you know, how we can make use of an annotation to make two way ssl to or to enable the mutual authentication mtls basically just save this file okay and i need to apply this file so for that i will just uh, this particular file is located on my desktop i will just copy the path i will just say cmd uh, run this as a administrator sometime you know it doesn't allow to apply cd paste now i will use command let me maximize cube ctl what is the command apply minus f f like which file just tap ingress.yaml then under which name space gateway it has been configured or if if you are creating for first time you will say create it right so that i have enabled my t i have enabled the tls now let's validate so i will try to execute like let i will try to you know browse the t http url and let's see what response we get it should give 302 or something like that yeah 308 permanent redirect because your url has been moved to the https and this is the proper response right let me change this to the https copy again you will get error because we have used the self signed certificate and in url you always pass minus k it means insecure so you got a successful response finally right if you want to see how handshake is everything is happening just pass minus kv copy just say cls sorry clear in just pass it will tell like what are the handshake everything is happening here you know cert verification you can see everything let me say cls sorry clear then i will just check for everything okay you should get successful response 101 percent yeah now last url yeah so it's easy right so like you know so like the question arise like you know when uh whenever certificate expires so you can create just you have to come and create the secrets and make sure like whenever you are creating the secret and if you don't want to change the yaml file like you know so just uh, like delete the older secrets and try to create a new secret with same name also for deleting the secrets like it's a very simple command so you can go with you know uh, cube ctl right uh, delete secrets and name of the secret tls server and you can pass name gateway right it will delete your secret just say enter so secret is deleted now try to check whether the secret is deleted or not cube ctl get secrets minus n gateway you cannot see now this particular tls server secret right so you can delete it and you can recreate it so let me do recreation so otherwise my https will get disabled so now what i have done i have deleted it right now i will recreate it 
now try to uh, send the request again like so do i am just trying to show you demo like how you can replace the certificate without changing your file yeah you got a successful response here you can see it here I pass pass minus KV. That's why it's showing like everything, how the SSL handshake and everything is happening in the behind. Yeah. So this is how you can enable the TLS. In next video, I'm going to showcase how we can implement a two-way SSL. Okay. So are you excited for that? Yeah. Just wait for your next video. You will get uh, you know how you can uh, implement the two-way SSL on your NGINX ingress basically. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please click on click on like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.